If you're new to the twin flame journey or you've been on your twin flame journey, you've probably learned by now that the way to attract your twin flame is through the act of self-love. Sometimes there can be some confusion on what it means to love oneself. And you might feel that, well, I do love myself. I take good care of myself. I value, respect, love. And then the struggle may come. You might find that, well, I'm doing everything that I can to take care of myself and put myself first, but this just isn't working out. My twin flame doesn't seem to be budging. This is where there's often a struggle and upset with the journey and feeling like maybe you want to give up or throw the towel in because you keep hearing over and over again, it keeps getting drilled into your mind, love yourself, and you're doing everything that you can to love yourself, but nothing is seeming to move in your twin flame union. Well, don't worry. I'm going to explain to you why that's happening. Concept of loving yourself is much deeper than you may realize. Loving yourself is not just, you know, treating yourself kindly, you know, taking good care of yourself, your physique, or valuing yourself, making sure that you dress nicely, or, you know, that you wash your hair, brush your teeth, put your makeup on, or get your hair cut, you know, those are all surface level. And you want to do those things because that is very important. That's proper etiquette. That's proper, you know, you should be taking yourself, taking care of yourself in that manner. To take self-love deeper, you want to look inside of your soul, inside of your energetic being. And I was very good with this. When I first woke up to the twin flame journey, I felt like I took very care of myself externally like my hair and just proper, proper, you know, the things that you do to take care of yourself. But my spiritual hygiene, my spiritual well-being was completely not maintained because I didn't know that everything was energy and it wasn't so much about the surface level taking care of oneself. Most importantly, it had everything to do with your inner well. And your inner well mean, meaning your soul, your spiritual being. So when you hear the concept, love yourself, yes, you are loving yourself. But what is what it is inviting you to do is to go deeper with that. And what it truly means to love oneself is it means to look within your consciousness and uproot where there's trash, uproot where there's dirt. Just as if, let's say, you had some mud on your face. You're not just going to walk around all day with mud on your face. That's, or maybe you would, who knows? I wouldn't walk around with mud on my face, but if you were like me, I'd go to I'd excuse myself. I would make sure that I wash my face off, use some soap, warm water, you know, face care treatment, whatever you know, whatever you like, but I would take care of that dirt, that mud on my face. Well, this is the same as with your consciousness. If you are experiencing separation from your twin flame, then you are experiencing upsets, triggers, um, you know, wounds, traumas, if you will. And those are in a sense like mud, you know, and you're on your, in your consciousness. And all of this mud is just kind of hanging out in your consciousness. And because it's not tangible, it's not something that you can see then you're not going to really understand, okay, love myself. But this is where twin flames thrive is by that self unconditional love. And it's not so much surface that is important too. But it's really an invitation to go deeper into really like uprooting all of the mis, you know, misbeliefs, the wounds, the upsets inside of your consciousness, that way that you can bring in love, you can bring yourself back to your state of truth and your union with your twin flame. And as you do this, you pick up momentum in that self-love and you also refine your external self-love. You know, you might find that there's new things that you like to do, or there's new ways that you like to take care of yourself, or maybe there's a different product that you would like to try for your self-care. It starts with your spiritual well-being first. So do as you are in terms of your self-care, self-love, but take yourself deeper there. Where are you avoiding yourself? Where are you numbing out? Where are you overlooking, you know, a place in your consciousness that is in need of love? Where is your twin flame triggering you and you're not yet willing to look there? Or 
where does it not feel good in your twin flame union? Go to all of those places within yourself, look at them, wipe off the mud. And what I mean by that is love yourself, bring light into that place. You know, let's say if you're experiencing rejection, well, mirror exercise, where are you rejecting yourself? And it's going to be something internally. It can be surface level. It could be that you're rejecting the way that you look. But oftentimes, too, it goes much, much deeper than that. Just a uh, self-rejection on a, on a deep level. So what is the opposite of self-rejection? Self-acceptance. So you choose to accept yourself unconditionally, and then you've healed in that place. You've brought in your union. You've brought in truth. And that, then that allows your twin flame to mirror that acceptance back to you. Because when you accept yourself, they naturally mirror that back to you as well, just as the rejection. If they're rejecting you, they're only mirroring what you're doing to yourself. So go deeper into your self-love and the Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover book will teach you everything you need to know about the mirror exercise. I just did a very quick version of it, but this will help you heal separation consciousness from your Twin Flame. And if you're looking for support on your journey, I'm a master certified ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe and coaching is what I do. I'm in Harmonious Twin Flame Union and I support others in healing and manifesting their union to serve as a, just a support in helping you to identify areas of your consciousness where you can heal that separation with your twin flame. All right. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.